Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Camco RV water heater. This is going to be a continuity tester, so we'll be able to make sure that everything's functioning properly. Basically, you'll just have your little alligator clamp on the end of the wire and then your pointy end to test out those terminals. So you'll be able to test the circuits and your, and your heating elements or your heater elements easily with this. You just want to be sure that you don't use this on any kind of live circuits. You want to make sure everything's turned off. You're just testing for continuity. You can also test to make sure that the batteries are still live in here. It does come with the two AAA batteries that you'll need to make it work, so you don't have to worry about picking those up separately. But if you touch the two ends together, the light will turn on at the back letting us know that our battery is still good. So it might be a little hard for you to see, but there's a little blue light that comes on to let us know that our battery is still working properly. And as I said, battery does come with it. To change those out, you'll just have to remove those two Phillips head screws and this top half comes off, pop the new batteries in once you take the old batteries out. But now we'll go over some measurements. With this, it's gonna be about seven and a quarter inches long overall and about three quarters of an inch thick at the widest point. Our cable or our wire that comes off of here is about three feet long. With our little alligator clamp, it makes it 38 inches long, so just over two inches uh, on the end of that wire. So it should be a good enough amount of length that you can get this connected just about anywhere you need it to be. But that's gonna do it for our look at the Camco RV water heater continuity tester.